Welcome back to Soda City Live. In just a week, a few weeks here, the town of Blythewood will be commemorating the emancipation of enslaved African Americans with their Juneteenth celebration. Joining me today is Blythewood Mayor Brian Franklin and founder of the South Carolina Freedom Fest, Jamal Bradley. Gentlemen, so glad to have you joining us today. Thank you for having us. It's such a pleasure. And this is not the first Juneteenth festival, correct? Right. It's actually the second. How, oh, so this is the second. So this yes. is the second year that you all are going to be hosting this in Blythewood. And Mayor Franklin, I want to ask you first, what does it mean to you, the town of Blythewood to host an event of this nature? We're so very proud and honored that uh, Jamal Bradley and his team put together this Juneteenth celebration. It means a great deal, especially since President Biden signed in to law uh, celebrating Juneteenth as a federal holiday. And uh, this is our second event, as Jamal said, and it starts early. So it's the 10th of June, which I'm sure he'll speak about. But Blythewood's known as the front porch of the Midlands coming down I-77, yeah. so it's only fitting that we start the celebration of Juneteenth. It means a lot to our citizens and our future, our students, to learn about Juneteenth and the historical significance. I absolutely love that. And Jamal, tell us a little bit about uh, how last year went, because last year was great. I know because I went, <laughs> you had some, some, some nice, not nice faces, but you had some great entertainment. You brought out some celebrity guests, and, yes, and it was, yes, it was yes. such a great event. But tell us um, from your perspective just, you know, how last year went and, and what it meant to you to take something that you started right here in Columbia and expand it out to, to other parts of the Midlands. Well, it, it felt good that uh, so many people were interested in what the holiday was and that they chose to reach out to us to help facilitate that. And uh, last year we brought in Chubb Rock, uh, who did our festival here at Dutch Square Mall, who you know had a pretty good turnout, and uh, Mila from 702. So the citizens up there really enjoyed it, and uh, we were fortunate enough to get called back to do it again this year. I love that. And you actually have your um, the Juneteenth Freedom Festival happening here in Columbia very soon. But what why was it important for you from the very beginning to create a festival for Juneteenth? Well, when I learned about it, I was like, man, we celebrate all of these different things. And when I heard about it, I was like, this is a great opportunity for us to not only share with other people, other races, other cultures, uh, our struggles and the things that we've overcome since emancipation. Uh, it's just, just uh, fulfilling for me. That's absolutely amazing. And what would you, um, what, what do you want the takeaway to be for those that come out and celebrate in Blythewood? Well, first I want to say that it is a free event. It's open to the public. So anyone who appreciates and supports the African American community is welcome to attend. Uh, the takeaway is that if we sit down and begin to learn from each other, I think we can appreciate and respect each other. And I, I see that since we had an event last year, we're having this one. This is something that the town of Blythewood is hoping to continue and, and grow. Um, what other, um, what else would you like to see from this event? What, what end result would you like to see from this event? I'd like to see a large turnout of the general public at large. Just come out, celebrate, bring your families. It's very important, especially in this post-COVID right. environment, Lord help us. But <laughs> As, as we come out of COVID, it's important for people to get out and fellowship with one another. And like Jamal said, enjoy other cultures. You learn from other cultures that breaks down a lot of barriers, causes a lot better communication and, and better neighbors as a result. So I'm looking forward to more and more folks coming out and maybe we can ask Jamal and his team to do it two or three days next year in Blythewood. <laughs> I love it. Another thing that I love about this in Blythewood as well is that it also brings more people from other areas to Blythewood so that it, it, it makes people more aware of the other businesses that are, that are in Blythewood. So it's a great oper uh, economic uh, opportunity for Blythewood as well. So I'm looking forward to see this grow um, and we're gonna put those details on the screen Right there is going to be happening at Doko Manor Park, uh, June 10th from 11 to 4 p.m. And it is free. Is there anything else that you all would like to add about this event? Oh, just come out and enjoy the live entertainment, the speakers, and uh, a good family fun time. Yeah, and it's going to be food. Yeah. <laughs> That's the most important yeah. thing, food. Any, um, anything you're looking for in, uh, looking forward to in particular, just... Uh, we got the Christy Joy Band coming and Katera is coming to perform as well. So I'm looking forward to their uh, Awesome. What about yourself? To come out and enjoy <laughs> Doko Park. And then, like you said, our future events that are held there, 
People become familiar. They don't see our crown jewel being the Doco Meadows and the Palmetto Citizens Amphitheater. And I think they'll fall in love li with it like we do uh, every month. Awesome. Well, I want to thank you gentlemen again well, for joining you. me today. We'll have all these details on our website, SodaCityLive.com. Don't go away. We'll have much more coming up after the break.